Hey guys, this is Jake with Just a Guy Survival. I uh, got another video for you today. Today I've got a helper. This is my daughter. She actually has a project for school, a science project. So I figured, hey, why not bring some of the survival kind of stuff into it? It's a little bit more scientific. Um, this is not quite the way you would do it in a survival situation in the middle of nowhere because uh, there is like activated charcoal. We're making a water filter. Activated charcoal you're not going to find. It's not normal charcoal from your fire or anything like that. They, there's only two ways to activate charcoal. Um, the first way is chemically, which I wouldn't recommend for water consumption directly. Uh, I guess some people would. I, I personally wouldn't. Uh, the second way is through steam. Now it's high pressure steam, high heat. So it's not something you're really going to create by a campfire or anything like that. Right? Uh, so, in a survival type situation, you're not going to be able to cre create exactly this. But, this is something like you can actually create in your kitchen. It's basically like your, your water filter that's in there, like the Brita's and uh, what's that, Culligan and all of that kind of stuff. But, just by simply doing away with the activated charcoal because it's more for getting chemicals and stuff out. If you're getting water from a spring or something for that, you know, this, this filter design will work absolutely fine without the charcoal. Now, still boil your water after the fact. This does not take out pathogens. Um, I think that's about all we've got. Um, Ash, do you have anything to say? Okay, she's a little camera shy. Uh, so we're going to get to work, we're going to start on this, and we'll see you guys here in just a sec. Alright guys, real quick, this is just the stuff that we're going to use. Right here, you'll see it's just a gallon jug, you can use milk or water. You can use any kind of container, this is just, I've got it laying around the house. Cut out the bottom, I've got a coffee filter here on top, this is just simply to keep stuff from falling out. Okay. These right here, this is the activated charcoal that I was telling you about. Um, Ash, what are these? This one right here. These are gravel. Same kind of stuff you would use in a fish tank or you would find in a riverbed. Can't get a very good angle here. There you go. And then this is the sand to keep it smooth. All of this I got at Petco. Yeah, really simple. You want to make sure it's all natural. It's not chemically treated, anything like that. Again, if you're out at the river or a pond, you're going to find this kind of stuff. So this is all you would really need. I would put some native grass in there and make sure it's not poisonous. Uh, guys, we're running short on time, so we're going to go ahead and get started on this. Um, just hang out. Okay guys, so what we're gonna do first is you should have another coffee filter. Co coffee filter and you're gonna wad it up and put the wad under into the hole in the into where the cap should be, but don't push too hard because you might push the other filter out. Did you get it pushed all the way down in there? Yep. We're going to fill up the whole void here. Okay. To where? There you go. Just about like that. Okay. What's the next step? Now you get the gravel and you pour about that much in. So, yeah. Alright, just pick it up and pour it in there, Mom. Alright, that'll make a good base. You want to shake it so that it gets pretty flat. You'll need it to be flat so that it, it, it will be easy to put everything else without it mixing. So then you get the charcoal and you put about the same amount as you did for the gravel. There you go. 
Here, so, you can pick. Let's pick it up and show them. You see the distinct layers here. See the gravel, the charcoal, and we have a few falling out, but that's okay because it was okay, just like Okay, get those three. out at once. Let's just dump it. the sand. Alright, now this one might be a little heavy for you to lift. So you pour about the same uh, same amount as you did okay. as the charcoal and the gravel. So. Okay. Now the sand works the biggest for the filtration, really. It would be the be It would be the most important character in the story. It is, and, and the gravel really works to keep it together. All right, we're gonna put another layer of gravel on here. So, um, what you're gonna do is put about a, the same layer as you did last time. You put the gravel in. It kind of looks like a beach. <laughs> yeah. A little more. Just tries to save everything. Because I'm gonna eat the chicken. Okay. Now another layer of sand. Charcoal. No, you only put one layer of the charcoal. So put the same amount of sand that you did on the second layer of gravel. Keep it all over the plate, see. Okay, stop. Remember, shake it to get it even. And we're gonna do one more layer of gravel on top of that. This one doesn't have to be as thick. The gravel's gonna catch anything like grass or debris, leaves, sticks. It's really just for consistency. Okay. And if it gets uneven, just shake it a little to make it even again. Okay. Guys, we're going to get some water and we're going to try this thing out. This is how it's going to look. And inside, it kind of looks like the under of a beach. Here. Okay. You can see here how it. The sand kind of mixes with everything anyway. See, the sand like sinks down to everything. And look, you can kind of see the charcoal by, see? And then the gravel is right here. So you can kind of see every layer. So we're going to go get some water and let's see how this works out. Okay guys, this is the part of the video that I didn't tell her about because she thinks we're going to filter this water right here. Well look at that. Why do we need to filter that? We don't. That's not going to be a good test, Mama. So what do we have to do? We have to have some dirty water. So I need you to get mud and sticks. Okay leaves grass just make it gross all right guys you set a nine-year-old loose on making nasty water if I you found this somewhere you shouldn't be drinking it anyway it's a milkshake daddy it's it, just a milkshake leaves and sticks and you remember that crystal clear water we had yeah it's gone i think she might have gone a little overboard if you see that that's a dirt layer in the bottom so, was that your favorite part of all this yet? Yes. <laughs> you think you'd be able to drink that after we run it through here? Probably. What do you mean probably? <laughs> this is what we're doing. With your nasty milkshake. It's going to be delicious. Alright guys, we're going to set this up. We're going to pour it through. It takes a bit. So, we're going to get it started. Okay, it just got started. What's happening? And most of the water, here, most of the... Up. Most of the milkshake has already purified, purified, but some of the mud is coming down with it. 
I mean sand. But not a ton. No. Alright, we'll be back it's here in a few drinkable, minutes. It's still though. It is. And you can refilter also. Alright guys, we let it run its course. You remember that nasty shake. It turned into purified water. It's not quite purified yet. You can see sand down in there. There's a little cloudy. You could get away with drinking it, but I would filter it again. In fact, we're going to for the video. But you can see the absolute improvement that that little filter has made. So we're going to run it again, and we'll get back with you guys. Bye. See you in a second. <laughs> All right, guys. Second filter is done. And you can see here, it... It's not even as cloudy as it looks on the video. A lot of that's this container, as you can see. So that's only two runs through it. That little residual sand you can see down at the bottom, that was I didn't clean it out before we redid. Uh, so that's just a little sand from where she spilled it in. Mom, you're soaking yourself still. <laughs> I have hair in my mouth. <clears throat> so, guys, that's about it. Like I said, all you have to do to make this work for a survival situation, eliminate the charcoal. It'll work just fine. Always boil the water because this does not, again, does not handle chemical or uh, pathogens pathogens will still be alive uh, giardia all of that kind of stuff you want to avoid it only boiling water is going to get rid of that but you can take some nasty stuff right here I mean you find a nice clean spring that's coming out but you still don't trust it dig a little hole beside the creek or the stream not where the water's getting to it and it will trickle into the hole and then take it out with a cup or your hands or whatever and you can filter it like this or just be patient and leave it sitting because it's all, you've already made a filter doing that. Uh, guys, thanks for uh, joining us. Thanks to Ash for her brilliant little water filter setup. Hopefully we'll let y'all know how it goes at the uh, science fair. If you have any comments, any questions, comment below. Uh, I try to post one every week. I've got plenty of ideas, but if I can find some stuff that you guys like, let's put that stuff out there. I'll be doing reviews, and hopefully before too long we'll be doing some camping videos and things of that nature. Uh, so, you got anything you want to see? Like it below, comment, uh, subscribe. subscribe, 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 because without subscribing, we, we got would. nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, thanks. We'll see you next time. Bye! <laughs> What'd you do? <laughs> it looks like I peed. <laughs> 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 oh, that's great. <laughs>